Hello everyone, I am Ibn Wagis Kadavi, Senior Technical Engineer for Oracle Solutions and Snap Center. In this session, you will learn how to perform faster and space-efficient Oracle database backups using Snap Center, leveraging NetApp patented snapshot technology. Here is the Snap Center login page. Let me log in using Snap Center Administrator. I have two hosts and all the plugins or the agents are up and running on those hosts. Let's go and see what all are the databases running in these hosts in the resource page. I have two databases running. One is a rack database and other one is a single instance database. Let me go ahead and protect my IOPS rack database. As this being a fresh installation, you don't get to see any policies in the drop down box. Let's go ahead and create a new policy named ERP Prod Backup. I'm going with a full online backup with scheduled frequency as early. Further, you have a couple of value added features like RMAN Catalog, where you can catalog the snapshots with Oracle RMAN for granular restores and block level recoveries. Since this is an optional feature, I'm keeping this unchecked. The other great feature is Archaeolog pruning, which helps in pruning older Archaeologs that are backed up. Let me keep it for 7 days. Retention settings. It's all about how long to retain the backups. Let me set this for 4 days. And this is yet another good feature for a long term retention, where you can retain the backups in the secondary, vault or mirror destination. In this example, I have AWS Cloud Storage as my secondary destination and choosing to protect my daily backups to the secondary destination. Verification is an optional feature where you can verify and validate the backups for any corruption. I'm keeping this unchecked for this demo. Now let's review the summary page and click finish. Now the policy is created successfully. Let's go ahead and create a backup schedule for this database. I'll keep the start time, which is by default the current clock time, and the end time unchecked. Let me set the backups for every six hours, which means four backups in a day. Verification and setting up email alerts notification are optional features. You will learn more about this in the advanced feature demo. Let's skip them and complete the protection job. The SIOPS rack database is ready to be backed up. Let me go ahead and click the one click backup now to trigger a fresh on demand backup. If you have multiple backup policies, you have the option of changing them at the time of backup. The backup got triggered now. You could see the notification in the activity panel, a running job. So let's click on that. You can track the progress of the job. Thus the backup got completed and successfully protected in my long-term vault storage. In this example, AWS Cloud. A good thing about this representation is that you can easily track and manage backups and clones across various destinations. Thanks for watching. For any feedbacks or questions, please write to ngsnapcenterfeedback at netapp.com. For more information of the product, please refer to www.netapp.com.